Our topic this week is on the influence of materialism. I personally think that materialism and materialistic things can sometimes get in the way of our own spiritual growth. An expert on the topic, Pastor Brendan Pratt, is going to share a little bit more information with us on the influence of materialism. Every day we see more than 3,000 advertisements, most of them telling us that we need something more or that we need to be something different in order to be successful. Sociologist Zygmunt Bauman calls it hyper-real consumer culture. Consumerism presents itself as an identity-making system where I look for hope, where I find my sense of identity, where I look for meaning, and I determine what is successful. In fact, in Western culture, consumerism has become a folk religion, whereby I look for my ultimate sense of meaning, purpose, hope, what to dream. I look for that in commodity. Commodities set themselves up as a false god, so it becomes false worship. Using the emotional connectedness of modern media, consumerism presents itself as being able to fill the gap of meaning. Consumerism is not so much about what I own. In fact, you can own a relatively large amount and still not score high on measurements of consumerism. Why? Because you realize that what you have actually belongs to God and it's not even your own. Or you can have relatively little by our society's standards and score high on measurements of consumerism because you look to commodities, you look to things for your sense of identity. Consumerism puts me at the middle of the story. Consumerism sets me up and makes me the center of my world and my story. In so doing, it becomes a system of self-happiness. It's interesting to note that in cultures that score high on measurements of consumerism, they also score high on loneliness and isolation and disconnection. In consumerism, we don't have time for relationships. Sadly, we can take this same consumer attitude into our connection with God and the church, where we turn God into a commodity to serve us. And I measure a church service on what's in it for me. Consumerism also has global environmental and social consequences. We see the natural world as a resource simply to be used. And sadly, we can treat people the same way. We can see them as simply another commodity to be used for my happiness. The Apostle Paul in Romans 12 writes about how we get conformed to the pattern of this world, that we can fit in without even thinking. Now, Paul wasn't talking about consumerism, but he was talking about a social grid of selfishness that can take our attention away from what matters and focus on self. For us, consumerism is simply our institutionalized selfishness. As Christians, we're called to live to a different grid. We're called to live with a different hope, different meaning. We're called to live different lives of purpose. Mm -hmm. 